If you are keeping guppy fish currently and you are wondering if your female is pregnant, the short answer is yes. Chances are there's a high probability if you're keeping males and females together in the same tank that your female is pregnant. But I do want to share with you a few really simple signs and things to look for if you are wanting to know with certainty if your female fish is pregnant. But remember, they give birth to free swimming fry about every 25 to 35 days. But do not be surprised if you get them more often or not as often. And I will leave a link in the description box if you wanna learn more about how stress can influence your fry count. But it is really hard to pinpoint an exact date of when your female's going to drop fry. But if you get to know and learn these really simple signs on what you should be looking for, you can get really close in guesstimating within a few days of when she will drop her fry. When it does come to identifying if your female fish is pregnant or not, it's for me, it really comes down to four simple things that I do look for. And the easiest one to identify is the gravid spot. Your female is going to have a circular spot that if pregnant will gradually darken and enlarge. It's next to their anal fin on their belly region. But this gravid spot is going to be the easiest way to identify if your female fish is pregnant early on in its pregnancy with this gravid spot darkening and growing your one of the most obvious signs of pregnancy is your female guppy's belly is going to get larger it's going to round and towards the end of the pregnancy closer to the time she's ready to drop the fry she's going to get so big it doesn't look like she can stretch anymore but she's going to get a rounded really boxy appearance and that's usually within a couple of days to a week of her dropping her fry. Next on the list is nesting behavior. This is the reason why adding live plants, especially floating plants, if you can to your guppy tank is really important for your females or to hide in and around and just make her feel more safe and secure. going to notice she's going to be hiding usually in the back corners at the water surface, just kind of hidden away, isolating herself. And at this time, sometimes she can get a little bit more nippy towards the males or other tank mates, but it's going to be a nesting behavior. She's not quite ready to drop her fry, but the time is getting closer. But this nesting behavior is really identifiable when you just noticing them not wanting to be around anything in the back corners usually of your tank. Lastly on the list is rapid breathing. You're going to see your female guppy probably not taking food as often and her she's really going to look like she's breathing really hard and her pectoral fins are going to be going 90 to nothing. She's going to be at the surface. She's going to be gasping for air and she is in labor. And this is besides the gravid spot the boxy appearance, the nesting, this rapid breathing is usually what I look for when I know it's getting time. And if I choose to move my female to have her drop fry in another grow out tank, this is the time I will do this. I will move her over, give her some space away from everything else, allow her to drop those fry, give her another couple of days and then move her back to the original aquarium. But this rapid breathing along with the nesting and getting that just really boxy appearance and then the telltale sign for females is that enlarged gravid spot. These are really easy, just really four ways to identify if your female fish is pregnant. Oh, one last thing. There was one occasion where I had a female guppy. She had a parasite. I assume it was a tapeworm and she gave birth to one fry. I treated her. Then I, she gave birth to a tapeworm and then a little bit of time passed and then she did give birth to a whole bunch of fry. So 
don't be surprised sometimes if your female fish holds on. Female fish do drop fry between every 25 and 35 days, but a lot of things can factor into this time and it's really hard to pinpoint that exact that exact time of when she's going to drop fry. But if you are wanting her to drop, a power tip is to simply turn off the light, especially when you start to see that rapid breathing part of the list. When you see that, turn off the light, make her feel as secure as possible, lower the stress, and chances are you'll probably see fry within just a few days. But again, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you want to learn more about signs of female pregnancy and a lot more that goes into it, check out sciencegalaquatics.com. Get your copy of my book, All About Guppy Fish, The Ultimate Care Guide Today. But good luck, and I hope you have fry soon. I'll see you in the next one.